Okay, hi there. Um, I'm Brian, uh, known locally as about the least handy guy anyone knows. Today I'm going to show you how to deconstruct a trifold sofa. This one is made by Lippert Industries uh, and it is a uh, full length sofa or full width sofa I should say and you can see that it fills the entire width of uh, the back of my rig here. So we're going to get started without further ado. Uh, I, I will tell you that this is only going to take hopefully two tools. Start by flipping this back up. First thing I want to do is I want to detach this portion right here by removing the cotter pins down in here. Alright, already we need another tool, so I lied, didn't I? Technically, you can pull the cotter pins out by hand, so I didn't lie. But oftentimes they're pretty tight, and so what you'll need to do is, is get some kind of a tool to pull them out, but these are very loose. That really shocks and surprises me. Um, you got to move this thing one way or the other to get this guy out of here. And it won't be easy initially. Uh, you may need to bend uh, one of these brackets in. Now the good news is that on this at least, there's a little give on the pins. I uh, had a choice of tools. Plier would be good, but um, in this case, I think I'm going to use a crescent because I don't have a lot of grip strength. And um, I think it's a little easier to just get some angle on this. There we go. So we pop the one side loose, that means the other side, no problem. All right. That comes down this almost like that. Now we have one piece to remove from the tray room. Now, one thing I will say is take these cotter keys, put them back in, otherwise you will be buying them again. It's again not that hard. There is another set of cotter keys on the inside where this swivels, you see where this, the hinge is swiveling there, you'll find another set of cotter keys. So, two things hold this in here. First thing, on each side you'll find three screws, okay? These are screws now, they go into the, to the wood portion of each uh, sidearm. Then you also have these guys right here, and so uh, what you need to do is you need to get these guys off first and then you can take that off and to assist me wrench will help hold the nut on the other side guys but put them back in the frame and these are hinges so they're not that hard to work with but you need to be careful once you get the one out there we go let's just pull it out okay Starting with this one here. Now these 
we'll, we'll put back in the wood. So I'm going to leave them right there. Do the two ends first. Carefully. Lest you think we haven't gone very far, don't forget this piece is out of here too. It it goes quickly actually. Before we do anything else, we're going to put these screws back in that we just pulled out so that. Folks will know where they go. Yep, least handy guy you know. Yesterday I drilled through my finger. Yeah, that was really good. tricky little bastards here so you want to be careful with them. They are the screw version of toenail. Screwed in at the diagonal to get this one bracing piece. It will also not lay out. There we go. Okay. We are down to the last piece that holds the two uh, legs together. Oops, going the wrong way there. All right, not quite the last piece. because these things are screwed to the floor. All right, so without the screaming and shouting that usually accompanies my projects, we have fully, we have fully deconstructed this sofa and are ready to put the new couch Sofa and couch bed. It's the latest craze everybody's buying. Right, let's get this guy in a position that you know we'll be good in. Those are all tight. We want to keep them there. Yep, good, good. 